हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर बिंदु टूडेज टॉपिक इज डायग्नोसिस ऑफ डेंटल केरीज फर्स्ट पार्ट इज आई डिस्कस इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन रेडियोग्राफिक डायग्नोसिस ऑफ डेंटल केरीज रेडियोग्राफिक एग्जामिनेशन इज नेसेसरी फॉर ओरल डायग्नोसिस एंड इट हेल्प्स इन फास्ट डायग्नोसिस द लीजेंस लोकेटेड in the proximal surface are not very often detected by clinical examination and requires the radiograph examination to confirm the diagnosis so it helps to evaluate the extent and severity of the carious lesion demineralization and destruction of hard tooth structure results in loss of tooth density in the area of the lesion तो डिक्रीज डेंसिटी कॉज द ग्रेटर पेनेट्रेशन ऑफ द एक्सरे इन द केरियस एरिया एज अ रिजल्ट द केरीज लीजन अपियर्स रेडियोलूसेंट सो डिग्री ऑफ द रेडियोलूसेंसी डिटरमाइंस द एक्सटेंट एंड सीवियरिटी ऑफ द डिस्ट्रक्शन डिमिनलाइजेशन इज एक्सेस ऑफ द फोर्टी परसेंट मस्ट अकर्स फॉर द रेडियोग्राफिक एग्जामिनेशन रेडियोग्राफिक डायग्नोसिस ऑफ डेंटल केरीज इंक्लूड्स कन्वेंशनल मेथड्स एंड रिसेंट्स एडवांसेस इन रेडियोग्राफिक टेक्निक्स फर्स्ट इज इंट्रा ओरल पेरी अपाइकल रेडियोग्राफ आई ओ पी एज ए स्मॉल एक्स रे सोज द डिफेक्ट्स ऑफ पर्टिकुलर टीथ एंड देयर आर टू टेक्निक्स ऑफ द टेकिंग द आई ओ पी ए फर्स्ट इज पैलिंग टेक्निक एंड सेकेंड इज बाइसेक्टिंग एंगल टेक्निक need for prescribing periapical radiograph to know extent of carious involvement in the tooth interproximal decay under the contact point periapical pathological changes traumatic injury to dental alveolar process periodontal disease dental anomalies occult disease prognostic assessment during the treatment planning post obturation assessment of endodontic therapy working length measurement during the root canal therapy and implants next is bite wing radiograph bite wing radiograph is taken to visualize the crowns of posterior teeth and height of alveolar bone in relation to cemento enamel junction there are two types of the bite wing radiograph first is horizontal bite wing radiograph second is vertical bite wing radiograph horizontal bite wing radiograph useful for proximal caries detection and limited use in periodontal treatment and treatment planning if the bone loss is advanced vertical bite wing radiograph film is placed with its long axis at 90 degree to the placement of horizontal bite wing radiograph and can be useful in evaluating the periodontium bite wing radiograph used for detection the proximal caries that cannot be detected clinically to know the estimate the extent of lesion monitor the lesion progression and determine the pulp chamber configuration it also used to know the suspected secondary caries under the old restorations then radiographic evaluation of dental caries first incipient interproximal caries in which the caries extends less, less than the half way through the thickness of the enamel in moderate interproximal caries the caries extends more than half way through the thickness of the enamel but not dento enamel junction in advanced interproximal caries the extends through the dento enamel junction into the dentin but not uh, extends through the dentin more than half the distance towards the pulp in severe interproximal caries extends through the enamel through dentin and more than half the distance towards the pulp it involves the enamel dentin and may appear clinically as cavitation into the tooth then incipient occlusal caries incipient occlusal caries cannot seen on the dental radiograph and must be detected clinically with the explorer moderate occlusal caries extends into the dentin and appears as a very thin radiolucent line under the enamel of the occlusal surface severe occlusal caries extends into the dentin and appears as a large radiolucency then the radiolucency extends under the enamel of the occlusal surface of the tooth then facial and lingual caries 
रेडियोग्राफ शोज दी राउंड लीजन एंड इन लार्ज टू बिकम इलेप्टिकल और सेमिल्यूनर इन सेप प्रिजेंस ऑफ वेल डिफाइंड नॉन कैरियस इनमल अराउंड दी रेडियोलिसेंसी इज प्रेजेंट वेन इट सुपर इम्पोज ऑन दी डी इज ए दे मे मिमिक दी ऑक्लूजल केरीज नेक्स्ट रूट सरफेस केरीज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड सीमेंटल केरीज विथ दी इंसिडेंस ऑफ फोर्टी परसेंट टू सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ एस्ट पॉपुलेशन यूजली इट इज अ रीजन ऑफ डेंटिंग एसोसिएटेड विथ रिसेशन इट इज द इल डिफाइंड सोसर लाइक रेडियोलिसेंसी सीन इन द रेडियोग्राफ रिकरेंट केरीज रिकरेंट केरीज मेनली अकर्स इमिडिएटली नेक्स्ट टू द रेस्टोरेशन एंड रिजल्ट फ्रॉम माइक्रो लीकेज और रेसिडुअल केरीज इन रेडियोग्राफ रेडियोलिसेंसी डिपेंड्स ऑन द अमाउंट ऑफ डिमिनलाइजेशन एंड एक्सटेंट ऑफ रेस्टोरेशन नेक्स्ट रेडियोग्राफिक टेक्निक इज पेनारोमिक रेडियोग्राफी अ पेनोरेमिक रेडियोग्राफ कैन प्रोवाइड अ व्यू ऑफ द मैगजिला मैंडुबुलर टी एम जे जॉइंट तीत एंड देयर सपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर इन वन फिल्म दिस फिल्म रिफर टू एज अ पेंटोमोग्राफ और पेनारोमिक रेडियोग्राफ इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ऑर्थो पेंटोमोग्राफ और ओ पी जी इट इज रोटेशनल रेडियोग्राफी पेनारोमिक डेंटल एक्सरे यूज अ वेरी स्मॉल डोज ऑफ आयोनाइजिंग रेडिएशन टू कैप्चर द इंटायर माउथ इन वन इमेज इट इज कॉमनली परफॉर्म बाय डेंटिस्ट एंड ओरल सर्जन इन एवरी डे प्रैक्टिस एंड मे बी यूज टू प्लान द ट्रीटमेंट फॉर डेंचर ब्रेसिस एक्सट्रेक्शन एंड इम्प्लांट्स इंडिकेशन ऑफ ओ पी जी इज टू डायग्नोज द मिसिंग और सुपरन्यूमरी टूथ डिटेक्ट द क्रॉस पैथोस एसेस डेवलपमेंट ऑफ डेंटिशन एस्टिमेट द डेंटल एज ऑफ पेशेंट डिटेक्ट बोन फ्रैक्चर्स ट्रोमेटिक सेस्ट एंड डिटेक्ट द एनोमलीज इन सम पेशेंट विद डिजेबिलिटीज इफ द पेशेंट कैन सिट इन अ चेयर एंड होल्ड द हेड इन पोजिशन दिस इज वेरी सिंपल टेक्निक it covers a wider area than the conventional intraoral x-ray as a result provides the valuable information about the maxillary sinuses tooth positioning and other bone abnormalities next radiographic technique is zero radiography zero radiography is a type of x-ray imaging in which a picture of body is recorded on a paper rather than on film in this technique a plate of selenium which rests on a thin layer of aluminium oxide is charged uniformly by passing it in front of a scrotron a uniform charge is deposited on the surface of selenium and this sensitizes the plate before exposure to x-ray this charged plate is placed in a light tight cassette and is exposed to x-ray just like a film screen cassette the x-ray reaching the plate cause the photoconductor layer to lose its charge in a amount corresponding to the intensity of x-ray beam the uniform charge is thus dissipated and the remaining charge pattern forms the latent electrostatic image so zero radiography is an electrostatic imaging system that using uses a uniformly charged x-ray sensitive selenium alloy photo receptor plate in a light proof cassette there are many at disadvantages and advantages of zero radiography advantages are produces the image of superior quality age enha- enhancement property and sharper contrast radiation levels are reduced to only 1/3 and rapid requires only 20 second to produce a permanent dry image disadvantages are large area of bone more than 2 cm are shown better with conventional intraoral film technique than the than with zero radiography greater degree of artifact than in conventional technique next digital substruction radiography it is useful method for assessing the small differences on serially taking radiographs it was facilitated by development of microcomputer allowing conventional to digitalize and substructive it is used to evaluate the periodontal changes diagnosis of periapical lesion evaluation of external root resorption diagnosis of proximal caries and evaluation of bony changes around surrounding implants there are many advantages of substruction digital radiography 
those are lower dose of radiation requires computer manipulation can be done image analysis no film processing up requires and time reduction other advantages are storage radiographs stored over a long period of time and easy and quick image transfer the digital image may be easily and quickly transmitted between the institution or offices disadvantages are the cost it is expensive storage capacity more storage spaces is required handling problem loss of resolution and image manipulation next technique is tact turned aperture computed tomography it is a new method for creating the three dimensional radiographic displays based on the optical aperture theory in this technique series of radiographs taken from different angles advantages are low cost and requires the low dose intact software stacks the basic images and reconstruct into multiplanar images indications are caries detection vertical root fracture help to detect the defect osseous defects around the implants and detection and localization of osseous changes in crystal bone next radiographic technique is magnetic resonance microimaging or mrm it is non invasive and non destructive technique in which teeth examined with mrm do not suffer the sectioning artifact that can occur during the conventional histological examination it has the capability for producing the high resolution three dimensional images of the internal and external tooth morphologies of tooth carious lesion appears as intense 3d features mrm provides the information not available through the other method of investigations on the site extent and structure of carious lesion digital imaging technique i already discussed in my previous video if you like this video please subscribe and like my channel for next video bye for now